identify those involved in cases such as the Webster's, that was a child case. It will also be illegal for any ch children currently in care to speak out even if they f feel they're being maltreated. Actually, so who's this lovely lady? Yeah, Janet Street Porter. And she's very interesting because she's also been speaking out about Jimmy Savile. And I should have a, a little audio clip here. Let's see whether it Janet, goes. a street porter, what do you make of the way the BBC's handled this? Well, it's a classic way that they usually handle these things, which is to, instead of setting the agenda about how a story is broken and containing it, they react on a day-by-day -day basis. And when I was an executive there in 1988 and I worked alongside you, I think you'll agree with me, they haven't really learnt a lot in the intervening 24 years. Doesn't it show... Sorry, sorry to interrupt, Steve. I just want to say one thing, that Chris Patton and Jill Gentleman will say they want to slim down the top layers of the BBC. Well, here we've got a classic reason why they should as soon as possible. And Mark Thompson said the, the same thing when he was DJ. Mm. Because all these labyrinthine systems of reporting, here we have a scandal that can't be contained because well, the flow of information is so complex. Well, except that. They, they say actually it isn't that complex. Right, did you, did you get what that woman said? Well, she, she is saying that uh, the trouble with the BBC is there are shambles because they haven't been able to control the agenda and contain the Jimmy Savile. She's not saying we need to get the lid off it and get the truth out. She's criticising the BBC because they haven't contained the story properly. So you want to... Should we try and play it again? I'll, I'll probably just have to go... OK, hold on. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's the glass. Can you move the glass? Oh, yeah. OK. That's it. OK, that's good. All right, I'll try and play, play this again. Janet, a street reporter, what do you make of the way the BBC's handled this? Well, it's a classic way that they usually handle these things, which is to, instead of setting the agenda about how a story is broken and containing it, they react on a day-by-day -day basis. And when I was an executive there in 1988 and I worked alongside you, I think you'll agree with me, they haven't really learnt a lot in the intervening 24 years. Doesn't it show... Sorry, sorry to interrupt, Steve. I just want to say one thing, that Chris Patton... And George Gentleman will say they want to slim down the top layers of